a warm tropical island in a blue sparkling sea and a happy sailor and friends who call it their home and you think with sun and a sunny beach what a perfect life it would be but you'll have to see for yourself the places they roam Circulation. It'd make things a lot easier if you'd hold still. We're almost done. Why am I always the one that's experimented on? Isn't it enough that I cook the meals, clean the house, and do all the laundry? Just a few more minutes, Oscar. This really is like being in a hospital. You've been saying just a few more minutes for at least an hour. Well, doctors, what's your diagnosis? What do you recommend? This ought to be good. How about something simple like open heart surgery? Nurse, my opinion is that the patient has a sprained right wing, several fractured feathers, and a brain disease, which causes him to talk too much. Very funny. How about a brain transplant? That's easy enough. This'll do for now. We'll never find a brain small enough for a transplant, so... You mean, we operate. Hey, you don't want to operate on me. My health insurance expired a month ago. Hmm. Hmm. In that case, we'll just tighten the bandage. <laughs> You're going to roast Oscar for dinner? Good. He's much too tough. We're practicing first aid. It's the smart thing to do. You gotta be prepared for emergencies. You never know when an accident might happen. That's why they call them accidents. <laughs> Poor guy. What ran over him? An elephant or a tank? Two doctors and a nurse. Oops. Hear that? I think the patient has run out of patience. It's about time. I was beginning to feel like a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, that's the way my Egyptian ancestor, the pharaoh Tutankhamun, Carlos, looked when he was laid to rest in the Great Pyramid. He once ruled Egypt. Come on, you're related to him? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'll listen to your far-fetched story all day if I have to, but get me out of these bandages first. Oh, so far-fetched, is it? You think I'm making this up? Right? Is that it, Oscar? Not at all. I'm absolutely certain it's true. Now, will you please take these bandages off? Well, now, that's more like it. All right, nurse, you can unwrap the patient. Wow, just think of it. Ancient Egypt. It must have really been incredible. So is the story you just told us. Oh, huh? You really expect us to believe you're related to an ancient Egyptian pharaoh? <laughs> there you go, Oscar. You're free. Feeling better now? <laughs> Some sort of whack. Oh! <clears throat> there! Now I'll tell you what I really think. <laughs> Carlos, the only thing Egyptian about you is that you smell like a camel. <laughs> Egyptian, my eye. The pharaoh Tutan Carlos is my ancestor and was buried in a pyramid. Come to think of it, you're probably related to the pyramid. You weigh as much as one. Why, you do? <laughs> oh, if I get my hands oh, on yeah, you. Oh, yeah, you work on it. Oh, oh I'm going to do it. <laughs> oh, if you don't believe it, then I'll just have to prove it to you. Come on, everyone. Where are we going? You'll see. Come on, Carlos. Tell us where we're going. To my secret cubbyhole, Mariana. What's inside will prove that I told the truth. Secret cubbyhole? I didn't know you had one. Of course not. If you knew about it, then it wouldn't be a secret. Hmm, now let's see. Three to the left. And two to the right. And now one more to the left. Pretty clever, huh? Gee, I never would have found it. Then again, I never would have looked for it. 
This document has been a family secret for generations. <gasps> this is my family tree. Ooh. Each of these squares represents one of my ancestors. This one is my great-grandfather, Luigi. I inherited my singing voice from him. Looks like you inherited his stomach, too. This is my great-great-grandmother, Marie. I got my looks from her. It's not nice to talk that way about your family. But the one I really want to show you is right here. There he is. That's the great pharaoh, Tutankhamun, Carlos, mighty ruler of Egypt. Oh, but Carlos, he's just a little boy. Which is why he's so special. He was the youngest pharaoh ever to rule Egypt. Now you can see that what I told you is true. All I see is a piece of paper. That could be anybody's family tree. Doesn't prove a thing. Listen, it's one thing to say that I'm not telling the truth, but when you start insulting my family, it's time to... See Grandma Tadpole. Right. Well, let her settle this. Listen, I still don't see any reason to believe... Oscar, Oscar shut, shut up! up! Here you go, Carlos. The perfect raft to take you to ancient Egypt. You've never loaned me a raft without arguing about it first, so why aren't you arguing? I make it a point not to argue with crazy people. Aw, oh, come on. You don't really think I'm crazy, do you? Luckier than a fruitcake. What did I tell you? Who, me? But why? To begin with, you actually believe you're descended from some ancient Egyptian. <laughs> a pharaoh, no less, who lived 3,000 years ago. One of the greatest rulers in history is your ancestor. No. <laughs> <laughs> and then they built the Great Pyramid just for him. <laughs> Very funny. All right, then, just come along with us and see for yourself. Sorry, I'm going to California with the Amphibian Freedom Fighters. We're picketing a restaurant that wants to put frog legs on the menu. But tell Cleopatra hello. <laughs> well, so long. Great adventure! Come on, Carlos! Give me a hand! <clears throat> I've got just one question. Which direction are we supposed to take to get there? She didn't tell us. Then how do we start this thing? Huh? You go hand it to Grandma Tadpole. She thinks of everything. can send us anywhere, you know that. Yeah, but 3,000 years is quite a stretch, even for her. There won't be anything to worry about on this adventure, since the ruler of this place is a relative of mine. You there! Huh? You must halt that barge at once. Who are you, and what are you doing here? I'm Carlos, and I'm here to see Tutan Carlos. He's a relative of mine. So, you admit you're related to him. Guards, get him! Carlos is about as popular as Attila the Hun. In the history book, it said everyone loved the guy. We've got to get out of here, and quick. Use the oars. Huh? How? Where's Grandma when I need her? With the amphibian freedom fighters in their battle against the California frog legs. Don't you think I know that? Don't take it out on AJ. You're the one who got us into this mess, Lord Brain. Don't worry, they'll be friendly once they understand who I am. I don't think you heard me. I'm a member of his family. Ah! You call that friendly? Oh, whoa, whoa. Good thing you guys have been practicing your first aid. At this rate, we're gonna need it. Ready the catapult. We're going to sink them.
smash them to pieces! Prepare to fire! Oh no! Emergency! <laughs> what is it, Oscar? They're about to fire some kind of spike ball at us. If it hits us, we'll sink! What, what are, are we, we gonna, gonna do? do? We're gonna surrender. Huh? huh? And after they take us aboard, we'll capture their leader and They're then we can... They're about to fire! Get down! Yeah. Now destroy them! Is everyone okay? Wait a minute, where's Oscar? I think he's over there somewhere. <gasps> Yuck, I just love water as long as I'm not in it. Well, what do you know? The natives are friendly. We got company. It's about time we met someone nice. <laughs> Gosh, I hate to spoil a party, but I think we got a problem here. Can we talk about this? Just parrot the crocodile? I could use some help. Whoop. Here's a message from the amphibian freedom fighters. Froggies don't like being eaten by crocodiles. Neither do parrots. <laughs> 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 See you later! Anyone bring the croc repellent? <laughs> Yippee! I feel like a blue plate special. Water skiing is so much fun and perfectly safe as long as you watch where you're going. <laughs> it's about time! Now, Grandma! Now it's time for me to figure out exactly how much you owe me for my Egyptian raft! Sorry about that, but what happened to the raft wasn't my fault. I tried to explain who I was, but they wouldn't listen. We were defenseless. When they shot at us, there wasn't anything I could now, do, that's so... that's a nice tidy sum. Mm -hmm. What do you mean by nice, Grandma? Nice and big. What else? Are you kidding? About money? <laughs> Never! <laughs> She's got you, Carlos. <laughs> Keep searching! <gasps> Look at those reeds over there. They've got to be around here somewhere. Carlos, what are we going to do? Look! There's our way out. Real soon now. Get down, everyone. You there! Oh! Get down and stay hidden! You aren't gonna tell me about your family again, are you? Who are you? What's your destination? Farmer, sir. Take All right, that's enough. Have you seen a fat man, three children, and a parrot? No, sir, I'm afraid not. Are you positive? Absolutely, sir, without a doubt. The fat one is related to the boy king, so if you do see him... Huh. In that case, there'll be nothing left of him for you to find. Proceed, loyal citizen. Come on, Ehor. boy. Newton Carlos, the boy king. What a joke. A real king wouldn't let his entire empire fall apart. What were we expecting from a kid that young? He had to take orders from the thieves that run this country, who don't care about the welfare of the common people. I used to think the pharaoh cared, but now, since he ran away and left him to rule in his place... No one in my family would do that. I don't know what's going on here, but you can bet I'm gonna find out. The Great Pyramid. To think of how hard everyone worked to get it built as a tribute to King Tutankhamun. What a waste. He'd have been a wise and benevolent ruler if he'd taken the throne. I can't believe that someone I'm related to let so many people down. This calls for an investigation. Giddy up! Hm. I hear 
there's someone coming. I don't think it's soldiers. Not way out here. I wonder who it is. This is it. The entrance to the Great Pyramid. Uh, those guys we bribed over at the Pyramid Construction Workers Union said that the gold and silver and jewelry stashed in the Pharaoh's tomb is worth so much it'll last us the rest of our lives, maybe even longer. Shh! The first thing is to find that secret entrance they told us about. Then we steal the loot, hightail it over to the guild and give them their cup. Then we'll sell what's left, and for the rest of our lives we'll be on easy street. <laughs> I wonder what's bigger, his brain or a date pit? Just imagine, Carlos, your ancestor's tomb filled with a fortune in gold and jewels. His subjects must have loved him very much. And that's the reason why I can't let those thugs rob the Great Pyramid. Pretty exciting, isn't it? Be careful, the ancient pyramids were rigged with traps to stop grave robbers. Then the ones we're following have a big advantage. They know where all the traps are. Uh-oh. This is spooky. Hey, there's a doorway over here. They lit all the torches. That'll make it easier to follow them. Pardon my curiosity, but what's that thing on the ceiling? It's the silhouette of a spider, one of the sacred symbols of ancient Egypt. They were very superstitious, so that shadow would have scared them silly. This place is big enough for the Super Bowl. Just follow me, guys. There's nothing to worry about. Yo! Carlos! Oh my goodness! Are you alright? So far, but these walls are slippery. There's nothing to hold on to. I'll go find some rope and we'll pull you up. I hate to say it, Kogi, but I think you're being too optimistic, unless you happen to have a tow truck handy. You're a great comedian, Oscar, but this isn't the right time for... Yo, oh, no! <gasps> Let me see that map again. Come on! In here! If we didn't have this map, we might step on this narrow stone and get buried by an avalanche. <laughs> Clever, huh? What do you think of that, Fillaway? No, I don't think we should walk there. Right, good thinking. Just a little further and that treasure is ours. Ah! In here, this stairway will lead us right to the treasure room. Let's see, I think we turn right. Turn right! I told you about stairways before, haven't I? You don't turn till you get to the end. Oh, well, I can't remember everything. That's it? Those statues are the guardians of the treasure room? Yeah. Huh? Hey, what was that? Oh, what are you asking me for? Oh, whatever it is, I don't like the sound of it. Yeah, it's getting closer every minute. <laughs> but you can keep your treasure. I'm getting out of here. Likewise. Uh -huh. Come on! Uh -huh. There's something funny going on around here. Uh, hey, wait for me! We'll have to watch out for those grave robbers. I sure hope we don't run into those two again. It's right behind us! It's coming! Get out of the way! Uh -huh. It's, it's coming. coming! It sure is! from being a pharaoh, but I'll return eventually. Yeah, if they still want to. What do you mean? Since you ran away, your subjects have suffered, and most of them think you're to blame. I never expected that to happen, believe me. All I wanted was to get away for a while, a little vacation. Tutan Carlos, your people need you. Of course, if you can't handle it. Excuse me, I've got some thinking to do.
Phew. This is better than finding the treasure. We'll hold him for ransom. I love the people of Egypt, and I'm not going to let them suffer. I'll return to my throne. Uh -huh. Hey, who are gotcha. you? What are you doing? You aren't going to go anywhere right now, What kid. do you mean? Because you're a meal ticket. Let him go. Yeah, says who? You might say I'm a member of the family. So long, cuz! Nice meeting you! Bye-bye! Take care! This is a wonderful send-off, but how do you plan on getting us home? I don't know, but I'm sure someone will think of something. Yeah, like Grandma Tadpole. Hi, Grandma! We patched up your app! All right, it's not a total loss, but you still owe me! Don't worry, Grandma. I'll pay you back. Sure, as a present for my 2000th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Monday at 8, tune in to Baywatch, where adventure turns the tide. Then at 9, the action continues on Star Trek The Next Generation. And now, that crazy cat and his pint-sized pal are coming your way. It's Tom and Jerry, next. Or anywhere, just ask Carlos, he's been there. Land, sea, or out of space, you'll come back with a smile on your face. Come take a little trip, man.